morning everyone. I am Cedric Cibibero. I'm taking Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English. So for today, we will talk about the material self. So what is the material self? According to James, it is primarily about our bodies, clothes, immediate families, and home. And we are affected to these things because we have put much investment of ourselves. What you saw on that diagram, an innermost part of our material self is our body. And we are investing in our body, of course. To be honest, we cannot live without it. And we strive hard to make sure that this body functions well and good because any ailment or disorder will directly affect us. So we should need to be close in our body because it has a lot of values. Of course, we need to take care of ourselves to our body. So, dapat kailangan aware tayo sa katawan natin dahil katawan natin ito, syempre, alam nga dapat kilala natin ito, alam natin kung saan yung parts, anong function ng katawan natin, kung anong disorder ng katawan natin kasi nga maapektuhan nga tayo nito. At saka, syempre, nag-invest na tayo ng malaki dito sa katawan natin, nagpa-bluta tayo tayo, nagpapayat, may mga pills na iniinom, nag-invest na tayo sa katawan natin. So, that's why nagiging material self tayo. So, ngayong pandemic, kailangan pahalaga natin sarili natin kasi hindi natin alam kung ano mangyayari. Kailangan yung body natin laging malinis, kailangan proper hygiene para hindi kapitan ng sakit. Kasi it's important to take care of our body kasi nga material self to, andito to. Pinaghirapan natin ito katawan to and it reflects us. tayo sa ating pangalawang component ng ating material self. So, the next to our body are the clothes. So, we use this one is influenced by the philosophy of dress by Herman Lotze. So, James believed that the clothing is an essential part of material self. In the philosophy of Lotze, it says that if anytime we bring an object to the surface of our body, we invest the object into the consciousness of our personality. Like personal existence taking in its contouring to be owned and making it part of ourselves. Actually, the clothes we wear bring sensation to our body which directly affect our attitudes and behavior. Clothing is a form of self-expression and wearing clothes reflect ourselves. So, according nga dun sa philosophy ni Lutze, every time na magsuot tayo ng damit natin o maglagay tayo ng mga earrings sa mga accessories sa ating katawan, eh, nag invest na tayo ng object at saka ng consciousness sa ating personal existence. Sa katunayan kasi, ang ating mga damit na sinusuot ay nagiging isang sensation sa katawan natin na talaga namang o maapekto sa ating attitude, sa human behavior, at saka sa manner sa ating bilang isang tao. At saka yung mga damit na sinusuot kasi natin ay nagiging isang form ng isang self-expression. And we are wearing clothes to reflect ourselves. For example, isang desente yung tao, kunwari ikaw, dahil manyain ka, magsusot ka ng mga damit na pang desente. So now, we will go and tackle the about the immediate family. Our parents, our siblings hold another great important part of ourselves. What they do will become affect us. For example, when our family member dies, part of ourselves is dying too. For example, when they success, we feel the gladness. And in their failures, we are put the shame or guilt in ourselves. Our family is the nearest replica of ourselves. Like what they said, like mother like child, like father like child, kung anong puno ay sharing bunga. Dito naman sa immediate family, dito kung saan yung mga parents natin, yung mga kapatid natin, ay nagiging isang importanteng parte ng ating sarili. Kasi nga dito tayo, sila yung nagpalaki sa atin, sila yung mga nakakasama natin sa ating pag-grow. And then, dito na kasi, sila yung replica ng ating sarili. Pwede maaari yung mga pag-uugali nila ay naa-adapt natin sa ating sarili. And then, halimbawa, kapag na-feel nila na masaya, 
ko na naman sila sila. Pasaya ka na din. Kung malungkot naman sila, nagiging malungkot ka din. Parang ganun lang. Nafe-feel mo yung sa kanila kasi nga sila yung replica ng ating sarili. So the last but not the least, our home. Home is where our heart is. It is the earliest rest of our selfhood. Our experiences inside the home were recorded and marked on particular parts and the things in our home. The home is our extension of self because in it, we can directly correct ourselves. So, dito naman sa home, andito na kasi yung puso natin sa bahay. Kasi dito nga tayo lumaki kasama yung family natin. Andito yung mga memories, yung mga experiences na naganap sa ating buhay, sa ating sarili. Sa bahay kasi nakarecord yun. Eh. Tsaka andun yung mga nagmamark ang particular parts na mga bagay-bagay na nangyari sa buhay natin. Tsaka kasi sa home kasi, this is the extension of self. Kasi nga andito tayo. And it can directly correct ourselves. Dito kung saan tayo umiyak, dito kung saan tayo talaga namang natuwa. Then dito kasi yung mga ano, memories na talagang hindi mo makakalimutan at saka nag-develop ng sarili mo. Having investment of self to this made us attach things. The more investment of self given to the particular things, the more we identify ourselves to it. Kung mamagitan ng pag -e invest natin sa ating sarili, sa mga nakakatouch natin mga bagay-bagay, sa pag -e invest natin sa ating body, sa ating clothes, sa immediate family, at sa ating home, mas nakikilala natin o mas na-identify natin sa sarili natin kaysa sa iba. Siyempre, atin to, kailangan mas kilala natin itong sarili natin. We must love ourselves before the others naman kasi. And then, dito kasi, mas lalo mong na-identify kung sino ka, kung ano yung mga kamalian na pwede mong ma-made. So, kagaya nga na nabagit kanina dito, the collection and different degree of investment of self become part of the self. As James on 1890, he described the self as a man's self is a sum total of all what he can his. And possessions then become a part of an extension of the self. So, I hope you learned something about the material self. So, thank you and goodbye.